हेलो एवरी वन आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हथ योग प्रदीपिका स्वात्म रमा बिगिन्स द टीचिंग इन द ट्रेडिशनल वे बाय प्रोस्ट्रेटिंग बिफोर द गुरुज फर्स्ट ही प्रोस्ट्रेट्स बिफोर द आदि गुरु द फर्स्ट गुरु लॉर्ड शिवा एंड देन बिफोर हिज डिसिपल मत्सेंद्र नाथ एंड हिज डिसिपल गोरक्षनाथ Through that grace, Swatmarama expounds this great science. Vidya means knowledge. The knowledge of Hatha Yoga was first taught by Shiva to his consort Parvati, the Universal Mother. The purpose of Hatha Yoga is to give you the knowledge of controlling these two energies, Ha and Tha, which means Prana and Apana. Without this knowledge, it is very difficult to gain the control over the mind, which is called Raja Yoga. Raja Yoga deals with the mind. Hatha Yoga works with the prana and apana. Many students make the mistake of considering Hatha Yoga to be mainly asanas, when actually asana is only one of the eight steps of Hatha Yoga. Furthermore, there is no real difference between Hatha Yoga. and raja yoga there is no possibility of attaining raja yoga without the practice of hatha yoga and vice versa hatha yoga is the practical way to control the mind through control of prana look at the fluttering of the leaves on a tree by watching this fluttering you can infer the speed of the wind even though you cannot see the wind itself in the same way we cannot see the prana or the apana or the motion of the wind or its thoughts according to raja yoga mind is like a lake and thought the waves raja yoga is controlling and eventually stopping these waves of thought in sanskrit we say yoga chitta vritti nirotha according to patanjali author of the raja yoga sutras there are five kinds of vrittis some positive and some not of these five only one is entirely positive and that is when the sir identifies with the self this is only possible when the thought waves are slowed down then the sir sees in the calm lake of mind his own self but as long as the wind exists we will see the tree moving the leaves fluttering sometimes quietly sometimes violently but always moving hatha yoga asks how do you stop these waves and how does the sir see the self as the waves on the lakes are created by the wind on the lake so also the waves on the mind are created by prana and apana sometimes this energy moves very fast sometimes slow and according to the nature of the prana and apana motion the thought waves will be very intense or very slow we call this rajasic or tamasic thought tamasic waves are lethargic and sleepy for the inertia prevails it is not a still peaceful state of mind or an active state of mind it is an insert state where mind is incapable of doing anything it just vegetates like a stone or a block of ice the masic waves are very dull and gross frozen like ice so that you can't see your reflection even though the surface seems to be still it is impossible to see what's at the bottom of the lake rajasic waves are like a stormy sky it is agitated waves arise on the lake arise and dissolve continuously on the turbulent surface of the mind but in the satvic state the waves become still there is no motion of the prana apana because the energy has diverted to the central channel the sushmana ordinarily when these waves are projected the prana or apana moves through the ida and pingala channels on the right and left sides of the body 
This can be demonstrated by checking your brain waves. Sometimes the right hemisphere is more active, sometimes it is the left that is more active. Waves from the left hemisphere are mostly analytical, mathematical, scientific and rational. Generally, these are the waves most used by the Western mind. This is why you have created beautiful cities and cars and complex technologies. It is because your left hemisphere most often dominates the right hemisphere. Even your religions emphasizes the left analytical side. When Christian monks go into seclusion, they indulge in contemplation rather than in meditation. And Judaism? The usual rabbinical approach to religion is analytical. Waves coming from right brain are philosophical, devotional, compassionate, peaceful in nature. Even though we use them mostly for inertia or for emotional things. Either you love or you have somebody. And so you put the waves on a very gross or tamasic level. The purpose of yoga is to prevent either hemisphere from dominating the other, to create the sattvic state. This is why we meditate in a place where there is a very little activity. Just the simple natural motion of the trees in the breeze and occasionally calls of some birds. In our ashrams, we plant flowers. All this is to help the mind calm. The main practice of yoga is to the left side of the brain by using the right brain. When the left brain is active, ida is functioning and breath is moving through the right nostril. When the right brain is operating, the left nostril is opened and pingala is functioning. Normally, this changes every one and a half to two hours, alternating back and forth. But when the energy is not moving through either the left or right nadi, it must go through the sushmana and then the energy is balanced. Moreover, the awareness of time and space is caused by this motions of waves of prana between the right and the left channel. There is some similarity between Samadhi and deep sleep. In deep sleep, you are not aware of time or space because the vrittis are suppressed. They are not stopped as in Samadhi. You might say that in deep sleep, the vrittis are on ice in a cold storage. They will come back when the sun comes up to melt the ice. But in Samadhi, there are no vrittis at all. Ordinarily, the only time we experience such quiet is during deep sleep, a state of inertia. But in Samadhi, the mental modifications have been suspended. Then there is a balance between the left and the right brains. For this, we practice alternate nostril breathing because we can't directly affect the brain itself. Bowing to his respected guru, Yogi Swatmarama gives instruction on Hatha Yoga for the sole purpose of achieving Raja Yoga. Following tradition, he salutes his own guru in order to get the benefit of the teaching. You must salute your teacher because God is manifesting the teaching through him. Here it is Shiva who is manifesting through Swatmarama's teacher. Raja Yoga means control of thought waves, something which is not possible without Hatha Yoga. Swatmarama is not talking about asana or even about the physical breathing, but about the subtle current which creates the thought waves. Swatmarama, the compassionate one, has composed the Hatha Yoga Pradipika for the sake of those who do not know Raja Yoga because of the confusion generated in the form of darkness of the presence of conflicting ideas. You can translate the words Raja Yoga here to mean control of thought currents. Those who are unable to obtain Raja Yoga 
are those who are still unable to control their own thought when they meditate. Their thoughts continue to come up. The aim of Raja Yoga is to stop the thought waves. But when you cannot do that, you try to lean to control the prana. In order to control the prana, you control the physical breath. In this way, through the physical, you go to the subtle prana. And then to an even subtler level, to the thoughts. As they are all interrelated, one affects the other. What does he mean by conflicting sects? Someone will say to do this, another will say to repeat mantras or to do that. Hatha Yoga is a scientific approach to subduing the thought current by subduing the prana. That is accomplished when there are no waves. The sir sees himself. The sir and the scene become one. The sir identifies with the self. In this state, there are no vrittis. It is something like looking at the bright light of the sun or the high beam of an approaching car. After some time, you are blinded. When the vrittis subside as a result of doing pranayama, that is called Raja Yoga. That state is the sir seeing the self. The light of Hatha Vidya is the knowledge of Hatha Yoga. Matsyendra, Guraksa and others are great adepts of Hatha Vidya. Yogi Swatmarama has come to possess the science of Hatha Yoga by the grace and blessings of these great servants. This is the beginning of an account of the lineage of those who received this knowledge. According to the tradition, through the grace of Lord Shiva, Yogi Matsyendra was a fish who was changed into a human being and received the Hatha Vidya from Lord Shiva himself. Knowledge does not come from just anywhere. It is like milk, which comes only from the udders of a cow. You cannot milk the ear. It is the same with the Guru. Knowledge may be everywhere, but you cannot get the knowledge from anywhere except through the Guru lineage. So Shiva Gorakshnath and through their grace, eventually Swatmarama, the author of this book, learned Hatha Yoga. In Sanskrit, this is called Guru Parampara. Lord Shiva, Matsendra, Sabara, Ananda Bhairava, Gaurangi, Meena, Goraksa, Virupaksa, Bilesaya. Manthana, Bhairava Yogi, Siddhi, Buddha, Kanthari, Korantaka, Surananda, Siddhapada, Karpati, Kaneri, Pujapadha, Nityanatha, Niranjana, Kapali, Bindunatha, Kakakan Disavara, Alama, Prabhudeva, Ghatokali, Tintini, Bhanuki, Naradeva, Khanda, Kapalika. These above mentioned are great Siddhas due to their prowess is Hatha Yoga. They roam about on earth having transcended time by the powers they acquired by mastering Hatha Yoga.